Knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in already. You're slow as Christmas and I'm tired of waiting. Knock, knock. Who's there? Yah. Yahoo. Seems like you're pretty excited about Christmas. <laughs> well, aren't you excited? Yeah, sure. I'm just not ready. What do you mean you're not ready? How could I be ready? I have so much to worry about. Homework, chores, homework, hang out with friends, homework, soccer practice. Did I mention homework? Well, ready or not, it's gonna happen. You're right. Let me get out my Google Calendar. What are you gonna do? You can't just find a good time for God to let a little love into our world. You can't just set an alarm for when Mary and Joseph walk into town. You can't give God a Google Calendar invite. Like, that's not how this works. How does this work? How do I prepare? How do I make room for Jesus? Look at this calendar. There is none. Well, however you decide to prepare, you better do it quick. Why? Because Jesus is coming soon. Like, really soon. Maybe we'll have more luck in the next place. We can't get worse. True. No room in the inn seems to be trending. Not a fan. Me either. There, I see another face. I'll go check. Who's there? Joseph. Joseph who? Joseph of Nazareth. You're from Nazareth, eh? Yeah, name's Joseph. That's my wife. Her name's Mary, and that's our donkey. His name's Donkey. Ah, <laughs> I got a cousin that lives in Nazareth. Ah, fascinating. Well, we really need a place to stay. You got any room? Nah, no luck, Nazareth. No room in the inn. <laughs> Sorry. We've been having solid these past few days, the census and all. Didn't you prepare to make a reservation? Now you look here. Well, thanks anyway. Bye. This doesn't look good. Come on, have a little faith. Faith isn't what Mary and Joseph need. They need a dang room. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe there's more of a connection there than you think. Maybe faith will make some room. Come on. Everybody, come on. Let's work on that part together. There's no place for us. No place is prepared. No place is ready. We'll find something. There's got to be some place for this baby to be born. Well, you better find it fast. <laughs> <laughs> On it. There's another door. I'll go knock. 
No, let me try. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Mary. Mary who? Mary, almost mother of God. That's who. We need a room. Why, yes, yes, you do. I'm sorry, but there's no room. In this inn? Oh, you, for heaven's sake. Yeah, there's no room. I'm sorry, we're booked solid. You've got to be kidding me. I wish I, w I was, but I can't just kick these guests out, and I can't just make a room where none exists, can I? Yes, you can. What do you mean? I'm no magician. I can't just say poof and make a room appear. No, you can't, but you can think more carefully about the room you already have. We have plenty of space for this baby. Where? In the stable? With a bunch of animals? Hey, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, mister. But it's a pigsty in there. Listen, Buster, pigs are actually very clean animals. It'll be perfect! I like her. Nay. Me too, oink oink. Cowabunga, dude, your baby's about to be born. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Make some room, friends. That was a close call. I thought Jesus was going to be born on a random road to nowhere. No way. God was preparing him room, and still is. What do you mean, still is? Just wait and see. Something tells me when word gets out about how special this baby is, how he has come to love the whole world, a lot more people are going to show up. Oh, Lord. Exactly. That stable is about to get even more crowded. Bethlehem better get ready. Are you guys even listening to me? I mean, does he ever stop talking? Not that I can tell. I aged 20 years listening to that last story about the lion. Lion? I must have missed that one. Must have zoned out. Hey, <laughs> did you guys see Josh's new shepherd's crook? Can I go and get lost? It's top of the line. The wood grain is incredible. Oh, I have an update here with him and his story. Oh, my head's full of them. I've got no more room. No more words. No more stories, I'm all full up. Hey, would you look at that? Look at that! Holy moly, holy Toledo, holy something, guys! Could you please be quiet? Can we just have a side island night? Yeah, can we just have an ordinary average? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be afraid, y'all! <laughs> Easy for you to say! We bring you good news of great joy. It's for all people. Are you sure it's for us? We're 
bunch of shepherds. Nobody thinks about us. Yeah, I think sometimes people forget about us here out in, in the fields. Not God. This message is meant for you shepherds right now and right here in this place. There's plenty of room for a miracle here. And you've been waiting for something special, haven't you? Oh, I've been waiting. I'm always ready and watching. <laughs> That's why God picked you. Today, a savior has come. A baby has been born, sent by God to, save, to love the whole world. Go and meet Jesus. Follow that star to Bethlehem! <laughs> wow, we, I guess... Starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I may. Follow me. Follow me. Let's go to Bethlehem! <laughs> This is one place I know we won't witness a miracle. I wouldn't be so sure. In King Herod's court, Herod doesn't even make room for anybody else's opinion in here. We won't see a smidge of holy up in here. Will we never learn? God is interested in every single place on earth. Prepare yourself. What is this? Not in my watch, not on my reign. Yo, Paige. Yes, your majesty? Bring me the wisest guys in the kingdom. Wise people? Here in your courts? Who would that even be? <laughs> Good point. Just go, you know, near and far and find me the wisest guys you can find, you know, from anywhere. Okay. So hard to get good help these days. Sheesh. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? It's, it's us. us. Who's us? It's, it's we. we. Who's we? We do need the glory and all. Hey, zip it, accompanist. Come here. Here, here. Here, right here. <laughs> Look, there's no time to lose. Did you see this? Uh, I didn't get a chance to read the newspaper today. The summoning took up most of my morning. Hey, zip it, wise guy. 
Not this. This, it says here, a baby has been born. One of these shepherds says, uh, he will be the prince of peace. And then another one says, he will be king of all. Have you heard of it? Oh, yeah. I heard about that, too. Yeah, everybody's talking about him. Um, uh, everybody's talking about that Jesus. He has been getting tremendous press. I mean, look at that. It is above the fold. That is great placement. Hey, Everybody's going to know about him. Hey, hey, if you want to remain wise, you zip it. <laughs> look, this doesn't tell me all I need to know. I want you three to go out and find this Jesus and bring him back here to me. Um, but why? What do you need with a baby? I love babies. I mean, I love them. I mean, I can't get enough of them. I mean, I, I, I want to build a special room for this baby. I, I, a beautiful nursery. Yeah. I, I mean, if he's going to be king, he shouldn't be in some stable in some manger. He should be in the lap of luxury. That is so sweet. Yeah, that's what I am. Sweet. Now get out of here, go! And don't okay. come back until you know of his whereabouts. Yes, Your, yes, majesty. Your majesty! You know, it's crazy to think that not very far from here a miracle is unfolding. Yeah, back in Bethlehem, in the stable. All is calm, all is bright. Way different from here. Let's see how they're doing. Must be pretty close quarters in that stable. Now what are those wise ones going to do? That stable is a special place, but King Herod's court is different. It's no place for God to be at work. It's just plain scary. No place is too scary for God, and no place is off limits to the holy happening there. Just watch. Hey guys, let little heaven in. What the? Aren't you supposed to be up there? What are you doing down here? Yeah, I mean, I thought you were up there. Sure do, but I'm on a mission to light things up. I need to make it easier for you to see something. Oh, what do you mean? When I look down, I see so much room, so much potential, so much space for little love to be born. Well, wait a minute. D does that mean that you have seen where heaven and earth meet? So you know where Jesus is. Well, that's where we want to go. Can you show us? Wait, wait. 
Yeah, yeah. So we should we should bring some gifts, so shouldn't we? Yeah. yeah. We, should, we should definitely bring some gifts, but like here's the deal. We should not tell Herod where baby Jesus is. I think that will be the best gift that we can bring. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Let's go, let's find that room. Follow that star. <laughs> but there's always room for more. Come on in, find a seat, let's celebrate. Sorry to interrupt the festivities, but those are pretty weird gifts to give the Prince of Peace, the baby who is gonna change the whole world. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh? Agreed. Have they never heard of a Target gift card? <laughs> but when you think of it, I guess the only thing Jesus really needs from us is an open heart. That's true then there's always a place where Christ can come. Exactly. We really don't have to make room. There's plenty of space in our world for more love, more peace, and more justice. Yep, and there's plenty of space in our hearts, too. So what do you say, friends? Can you find room for Jesus and welcome joy to the world? When you hear love knocking on your door, will you let God in? Sure you will. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. <laughs> 